This is Artifacts of Mars. Get the kids out of the room. This is not going to be pretty. Um, this concerns a couple of issues that we have going on. Uh, Obama's intention of suppressing the uh, public, suppressing uh, dissent, and uh, Hillary, who is another Alinskyite. We're going to start off with Hillary, and then I'm going to show you an article where they are drawing up plans to crush any so-called Tea Party rebellion. In other words, they're going to come after you for having a specific political orientation is what this amounts to. If you believe in the American way, they're coming after you, and they're pretty much openly saying it. Okay, you got the kids out of the room? Because this is going to be nasty. Here we have Hillary Clinton, and what she wants to do is essentially lock people up in camps. Maybe we can play part of this so you can hear it. See more of in our country. Well, it crapped out on me. Basically, she wants to lock people up in camps and force them to work together. That's called a slave camp, in case you don't know. Well, it just went, it was just went berserk on me, so... I'm just going to close that tab out. It's my, uh, Yuku chat group. It went berserk on me, I don't know what it did, it morphed into another story. Hillary wants to lock people up in camps. I can't believe this fucking bitch is not in a cage right now. What in the living hell? So she basically wants to take, doesn't matter whether you're liberal, conservative, white, black, whatever. She wants to lock you up and put you into camps and force you to work together. That's, huh, called Auschwitz. It's the nearest uh, comparison I can make. Uh, what can I say? Lock and load. This fucking bitch wants to lock us up by her own words. By her own mission, she wants to lock us up. And put us in camps. Fun camps, of course. You think the Jews were told that they were going to be taken to a camp to be uh, put in ovens? No, they were told it was a good thing, of course. This fucking bitch is out of her mind. Hillary is out of her fucking mind. This is a story that I, I put it on Tyranny Watch, uh, Tyranny Watch at Yuku.com. So, Hillary wants to lock us up. That's lock and load time as far as I'm concerned. This whole thing's getting out of control. These motherfuckers aren't even bothering to hide it anymore. They're openly stating they were going to come after us. Now, why is this bitch not in the cage right now? This is what I want to know. I mean, you can't threaten to take all Americans and put them in camps. That's threatening us. She should be put into a cage. Period in the subject. She's a danger and a menace to us. By her own fucking words. Fun camps! You're gonna go to fun camp. You're gonna learn to work together. That's slavery, people. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. But it gets worse. Here's the second story I wanted to show. How, this is on Forbes. How the U.S. military would crush a Tea Party rebellion. And of course they're saying it's hypothetical. A couple of think tankers, Benson and Weber, got together and thought about how uh, 
Radical U.S. citizens operating domestically and abroad. And of course, they picked on Tea Party because they're vilifying Tea Party and making building them into a threat, the same way Hitler built Jews into a threat. Fuck me. No, you queer so many ideas. No, but fuck me. I mean, no, fuck them. Actually. They're going to come after us? I'm not sure the military... I'm thinking the military would probably side with us. I mean, you fucking libs, if you think you're fucking safe because you're not Tea Party, you better think again. If they come after Tea Party, they'll come after you too. As far as they're concerned, you're nothing more than useful idiots. If you libs care anything about freedom and sulfur, uh, self-reliance and, you know, just reasonable amounts of government, you need to uh, wake the hell up. And if, if you want to live under a total tyranny, then go ahead and support these motherfuckers. The fictional story is a right-wing militia inspired by the Tea Party movement has taken over the city of Darlington, South Carolina, and arrested the local government and declared that federal government should be overthrown. That's utter hogwash. It's written by uh, Michael Peck, whoever he is. Well, uh, these people are gearing up for uh, a civil war. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You look at... You look at the uh, stuff going on in the Southwest. It's called Operation Jade Helm. Operation Jade Helm is about... Uh, they're going to be holding drills down in the southwest, and they've declared Texas and Utah to be the enemy, and of course they're going to be invading Texas and Utah. It's just a drill, but Alex Jones is right. They may be preparing for something. This is as fucked up as it gets, people. Hiller, you know, these people are preparing for a war against... Americans, they've been doing it for six years. I mean, they've been buying up the ammunition. When you motherfuckers, you motherfuckers are going to have to wake up. You liberals, too. You think you're fucking safe? You're out of your minds if you think you're safe. You're not safe from these fuckers. You're not fucking screwing around here. You liberals, get out there and buy guns because you're going to need them. I don't know what else to tell you. You may not like them, but you're going to have to learn to like them. Get out there and buy fucking guns, people. It's these sons of bitches are spoiling for a fight. And they're doing everything they can to provoke one. I don't like the idea. But they may well succeed in getting one. I don't know. It's best to be prepared in any event. There's plenty of for a fight. Operation Jade Helm was preparation for taking over Texas and Utah and some of the southwestern states. You know, sending in tanks and stuff. How much more is it going to take for you people to wake up and realize what's going on? And you have Hillary, who's openly stating she wants to put people in the camps. So, you know, they go and take these states, send in the federal troops, and then Hillary get, 
gets uh, put in as president, and what does she do? Puts people in camps, concentration camps. And that's what she is talking about. It was in her own concentration camp is my word, but that's what she's saying. Going to have liberals, conservatives working together, white and black working together in camps. That's in fun camps. The same thing they told Nazis told the Jews. These are good places to go. They're not bad. How much fucking more do you people need? We're going to have to reboot this entire government. We cannot elect any mainstream candidates anymore. We're going to have to get together. I've said this before. There's a way to do this peacefully. And within the law. We have to get all the people together. And not to not vote for mainstream candidates. We have to have people who believe in freedom and self-reliance and individual responsibility. We have to believe in the principles that founded this country. We have to get together, bypass mainstream, and get enough people to vote for them that we get all these dirtbags from Washington thrown out of office. We need a total revolution, but not with guns. I perish to think of the thought. I mean, I do say buy guns, but... The best way to do this is simply to get together, get real Americans put in there, and throw every one of these motherfuckers out on their asses. Gotta wake up. Throw the whole lot of them out on their asses. I would love to see that entire Congress, every single damn last one of them, thrown out for real Americans who care about the country and can get this country back to a real country, a real America, a real bastion of freedom. And with secure borders, of course. Look, people, if you don't wake up pretty soon, something, something is going to happen. It may not even be anything dramatic. They're eating away at our liberties bit by bit. We've got to reboot this entire government. 2016 election. None of these mainstream dirtbags gets in there. Get some no-name person who's an American, believes in freedom, put him or her in there for president. Replace every goddamn congressman. Throw the motherfuckers out. End their goddamn careers. Every single goddamned last one of them. I said, God damned. God damn it. That's what needs to happen. And perish the thought, but do buy guns, because you may need them. I don't know what's going to happen. We are going to be hit by ISIS sooner or later, so you will need guns one way or the other. Buy guns, buy guns, buy guns. Let's get together and throw all these goddamned motherfuckers out of office. Every single damn last one of them. Let's reboot this government. Get rid of the NSA. Get rid of the TSA. Get rid of the DHS. Close those motherfuckers down. I'm fucking sick of this shit. We're losing our freedom. To a bunch of fucking intellectual panty waste pieces of shit. We're losing our freedom, people. Wake the fuck up. They've o they're openly talking about putting us in camps. They're openly talking about using the military 
come in and get us. And they're ultimately doing drills where Texas and Utah have been, have been declared the enemy. How much more do you need? Jesus, people. Buying those guns. You're losing your freedom, folks. I don't know what else to tell you. If you don't wake the fuck up, you're going to get screwed. Simple as that. Let's throw them all out and reform the government to a constitutional representative government like it's supposed to be instead of this goddamned oligarchy. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.